Patrick Hurley here on MC Complex's season 30 of Minecraft Factions. And oh my gosh, is there so many changes this season? I am super excited for this, dude. But quickly before we get into these changes, guys, it is no secret that I have not been posting videos for like the last two seasons. And uh, there's been a lot of personal stuff going on. Got everything sorted though. We're back now. We're actually coming back. I'm going to be posting like five times a week. So hopefully you guys are super excited for that. We're going to be coming back and playing factions once again. And also, if you guys haven't noticed, if you're living under a rock or something, the new uh, plus rank has actually come out. It's like it, it varies depending on the realm. Uh, for factions, it's Ascendant Plus. We are going to be giving away one plus rank. So if you guys want to go ahead and enter that, make sure to drop a like on today's video. Comment your IGN down below. Subscribe to the channel. And of course, make sure you guys are using my server IP, Robbie.mccomplex.com. All the info will be up on the screen right now. So make sure to go ahead and enter this. I'll be picking the winners in the second video of this faction season. So yeah, you guys have quite a bit of time to enter. And yeah, let's just go ahead and move on into the changes now. The first thing I want to obviously say is the map is going to be releasing season 30 of complex factions. It's going to be on September 28th at 5 p.m. EST. I am going to be recording on the release and streaming on the release. So, you know, not right away actually streaming, but I will be streaming an hour or two after. So guys, make sure to turn uh on post notifications everything like that tune into the live stream it's gonna be a ton of fun and also the next big announcement that i want to say we have a brand new partner on mc complex the man the myth the legend royal mc is finally making his way over to mc complex he's gonna be joining us here playing factions recording you know streaming maybe streaming i don't know if he streams or not but he is for sure gonna be recording and playing on factions here so hopefully you guys are excited for that he has like 70,000 subscribers huge youtuber so we're definitely gonna get a lot of entertaining content from that hopefully we can do some collabs with him or something that'd be tons of fun and yeah server wise there isn't really much changes right now there is going to be though by the time you guys see the server live tomorrow on uh saturday at 5 p.m EST. but right now i guess the spawn hasn't been put up or anything this is the old spawn from the previous season we're supposed to be getting a new spawn it looks like and i would assume with that the war zone is also going to be the same uh, i can't really see it but i'm not even gonna look i mean if the spawn's the same why would the war zone be any different you know what i mean let's go ahead and get into the map details it looks like the member limit is going to be 15 man factions we're gonna have a 60 member roster limit we're gonna have 12 chunk buffers with six chunks of regents and six chunks of water walls it looks like 0.4 second cannon speed we're gonna have obviously the four week long map that is how long every season is on mc complex it'll be four weeks long one week of grace period we have no allies and it looks like double pvp top and f top rewards this season uh excludes the f top tag of course but it does look like you're gonna get double the amount of gc this season for winning i don't know how much the f top reward actually is it might be like five I could be wrong. If it is, it's going to be double. So if it is 500, then you're going to get a thousand, for example. So tons of hype around that. There's going to be some big, big payouts this season for season 30 to celebrate three whole things of MC Complex. I don't know what you want to call it. It's, I was going to say decade, but it's not really a decade. I guess it's not really a decade, but you guys know what I'm trying to say with like the decade, you know, 10 seasons instead of like 10 years. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into some of the official content changes this season. There is a lot of them. So get your popcorn and sit back and relax and enjoy all these changes. The first content change is going to be raid cooldowns. After being breached for over 50% or more of your value, factions will now be placed on a 6-hour shield to allow recovery of buffers and buffer cannons. During this period, spawner mining and creeper ragging should be disabled as well. Now, I honestly think this is a super cool change. I'm glad they're actually adding this. This is going to be sick because I think, I don't know, it'd be cool to actually have some time in between getting breached instead of just your whole base getting nuked. The next change is going to be the team arcade faction based arcade battles that will work exactly like normal arcade but team based this is going to be a super cool change i absolutely love this i can't wait to see if there's going to be any team fighting in arcade you know how sick that would be that'd be absolutely insane having like a 15 versus 15 big battle in arcade full seasonals like dude that sounds like so much fun so super good feature mc complex looks like there is a dark zone update as well uh with being dark zone drops have been significantly buffed including items such as candy corns swisher balls xp boosters money boosters ancient acid cell wands and tnt wands being added to the pool Always good to see a dark zone buff. That's going to be promoting more PvP on the server to try to comp for dark zone. So we'd love to see that right there. More action. Looks like they have also gone ahead and up, uh, buffed dark zone mob spawn. So when there's abundant of players, blah, 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 blah. Basically, there's going to be more mobs in the dark zone. The dark zone outpost rewards are also going to be buffed this season, which is uh, very interesting. I have no idea how much they're going to be buffed. It doesn't say, but they're going to be significantly buffed. Dark zone mobs will no longer spawn or be active during dark zone outpost. That is super nice, bro. It can be so irritating when mobs are 
trying to chase you and kill you during like pvp at the outpost dark zone backpacks and stacker wands will be cheaper to purchase at the golden merchant it looks like we're also going to see lower points to capture conquest to make the event faster and overall more fun which i love that change conquest lasts literally way too long bro i love that change added six more strength pots to the citadel and conquest kit and less health potions so people are dying uh more and faster that is gonna be super sick thank you for adding more strength potions you run out so quick i don't know how i feel about the less healing potions i already feel like you barely get any you get like nine healing pots but could be a cool change people are gonna be dying a lot quicker so we'll see how that change is maybe i'll like it i don't know looks like we have lowered the price of lava gen buckets so new factions can get bases up way easier now we have also made collections just immune to lava and getting destroyed destroyed by cactus so that is going to be a super good change so then you know you don't burn your collection chest or anything we have a bunch of changes with duels i'm going to be honest i don't know how many people care about duels so if you do care about duels i'm going to put up a screenshot right now on the screen of all the changes you can go ahead and read through those but i'm not going to be reading them out because i don't think a lot of people have too much of an interest in the duels and finally we have lots of seasonal changes to go over so well not a lot there's like six eight i think eight that we have to go over looks like they've added a cupid shovel cooldown on players who have uh been cupid shoveled within the last 7.5 seconds as well as a slight buff to bunny shovel proc rate to 1.5 percent at max level from 0.5 percent we have a slight buff to the halloween legs and chest plate proc rate so you're going to see that procking more that's always good massively increase arcanist chest plate proc rate that is going to be very interesting literally 10x the uh proc rate all the way from 0.05 to 0.5 percent that is a huge change right there so we'll have to see maybe the arcanist chest plate is gonna be good now they've also massively increased the celestial chest plate proc rate to 2.5 percent from 0.5 percent that is a 5x increase right there that is absolutely insane as well looks like they have increased how long the speed duration lasts on the jolly boots to 10 seconds that is a big change as well increase the threshold for low health on bunny shovel i'm gonna be honest i have no idea what the bunny shovel does so i don't know if that's good or not nerfed inferno leggings at max level the ramp up from 2.5 hearts not two and finally we have nerf sacred crossbow at max level to 10 seconds of weakness given to enemies so lots of seasonal changes this season hopefully you guys are excited for all of them looks like that is pretty much all the changes for this season so guys once again the server is going to be coming out on uh, or not august bro what am i saying september september 28th at 5 p.m est make sure to hop on guys the server ip is robbie.mccomplex.com it'll be in the pinned comments down below up on the screen right now in the description wherever you would like to look for it if you want to copy and paste it if you guys aren't make sure you guys are using my server specific ip it does directly support me and i very much do appreciate it and be sure to go ahead and check out the pinned comment down below to go ahead and enter the giveaway for the ascendant plus rank we're going to be playing on factions i hope to see you guys on there live streaming as well so yeah hopefully i will see you guys there at 5 p.m est on saturday